Hey, what's up, everybody? So I was actually looking at some old material or old videos that I created for the Jesse Smollett situation. And when I was going over that stuff, it kind of occurred to me that um, there are well, there is one particular defense that Smollett is using or plans to use that R. Kelly could possibly use. And I don't even think Greenberg is actually thinking of using this defense in the way that it could be used, right? So the defense in question is double jeopardy. Now, for those of you who don't know, Greenberg is R. Kelly's defense attorney. And I do believe he is going to use the double jeopardy defense, but I think he's going to use it as it regards to the trial that R. Kelly has already had, I think in 2008. However, I think the double jeopardy clause could possibly have another application in R. Kelly's defense, right? And it could possibly be a silver bullet, okay? So let me get into it, right? So basically, I'm just going to read this case law to you, and then you can just tell me what you think. Uh, definitely leave your questions, comments below, because I want to know what, you know, the general community thinks about this, right? So basically, Case law goes on to say, we know from Austin v. United States and from United States v. Halper that a forfeiture and civil fines can be penalties for a crime. And from Halper and Montana Department of Revenue v. Curve Ranch, that a financial extraction can count as a separate jeopardy, right? So basically what this is saying is that the government can't have a proceeding to basically take your property or money and then have a separate proceeding to impose punishment. That's going to be double jeopardy because basically you can go and watch some of my other videos. I actually just made one, but, but basically double jeopardy as it regards to the Constitution to be means to be put twice in jeopardy, right? You're, you're trying to punish a person multiple times for the same offense. Now, again, Greenberg has already stated that double jeopardy, he didn't say it word for word, but basically he brought up double jeopardy. But I believe that he's only going to talk about double jeopardy as it regards to the trial that R. Kelly has already had. I don't think he's thinking about using double jeopardy in this way or the way that I'm going to tell you. Basically, from what I've heard about many of the victims, that there were several of them that received direct financial compensation from R. Kelly. So here's the thing. If they have received compensation, should they be allowed to seek prosecution through the government? Should the government be allowed to use them as witness in a criminal prosecution? Right now, I don't know what was said between the victims and R. Kelly. I don't know what actually happened between the victims and R. Kelly. All I know is the stuff that's floating out on the Internet and the stuff that I, you know, hear and see in the media. Let's say one of the victims comes to R. Kelly and says, hey, look, you've done X, Y, Z to me. I'm traumatized. I'm going to go to authority so they can lock you up, so on and so forth. And R. Kelly says, wait. You know, I'll pay you, I'll compensate you for the damages that you incurred, and we can put this whole thing behind us. If that person takes the financial, uh, I guess, settlement, is that person or should that person be allowed to basically pursue criminal pros prosecution? Me personally, I think this fits the double jeopardy. I think this is double jeopardy because basically you have a situation where the victim, well, hypothetically, the victim is coming to R. Kelly and they, they're giving him notice of the damage that R. Kelly has done. And R. Kelly basically uh, pays the victim for the damages that was done. And the victim basically still goes ahead and prosecutes him to lock him up. I think if they have received a financial re uh, compensation, I think that should be it, right? Because if they want, if they think the financial compensation isn't enough, then they have the option of prosecuting. I think it's double jeopardy. So let me know what you think. 
do you think it's double jeopardy for a person to actually receive money for the damages that they incurred and then turn around and prosecute R. Kelly anyway, or turn around and act as a witness uh, in prosecution? I, I, I think I, I personally think it's double jeopardy. Now, again, I'm making this video uh, and I'm not supporting some of the things that he's alleged of doing. I just think that some of the things that is being done to him is basically wrong, right? And I think it's so wrong that it basically will change how we as a society function moving forward. You know, I don't like this whole thing of basically prosecuting someone through the media. I don't like that. And I, I hate it when unfair tactics are being used to basically, you know, prosecute someone. So again, I don't support any of the alleged conduct, but I think some of the things that's being done here are wrong and as it regards to R. Kelly, whether or not he deserves it. So again, let me know what you think. Leave your questions and comments below. I want to hear from you. Is it double jeopardy or do you think it's double jeopardy for a person to receive compensation for a crime and then turn around and go to the government for criminal prosecution?